Hello, hello, and welcome back, my friends, to a new Google Space Program video. And today, with the top FFFs KSP, top five features for Google Space Program. Let's jump right into it. Tip one: accurate Delta V readings. So, when you're in the space plane hangar or in the VAB, and you construct your rocket, you can see on the right-hand side your Delta V readings. However, if you tip on that Delta V tab up there, you can select different levels of Delta V readings: sea level, altitude, or vacuum. For vacuum-optimized engines, like, for example, the LV909 Terrier, the Poodle, or the Cheetah, the readings are extremely different and if you're building a lander you can actually see the thrust to weight ratio as well so when you can select your body whatever you want and see whether the uh, thrust to weight ratio is more than one so that you're able to take off for atmospheric bodies you can actually see the same readings for different altitudes since some engines depend highly on what atmospheric pressure is around them Tip number two, trimming your controls. So when you're flying a plane or a space plane SST, you can just disable SAS and press Alt and your um, control key, in our case here, or most cases S key, and with that you engage the trim. And with that, the control surfaces will automatically hold that level of authority. So right now we are just barely going down just a tiny bit so pitching up a tiny bit by hand and increasing the trim even further and now the craft is stable stably ascending so if you go and see on the left side you can see that the pitch control is automatically always at the same level even though we have no SAS input and I'm not pressing any keys very useful if you're building SSTOs or just like I said planes that go through the atmosphere <coughs> On to the next tip, orbital info during flight. You all know that situation when you're launching your rocket from the launch pad or just generally ascending through the atmosphere and you want to know your, your app apps' readings. You usually have to ch either have a mod like for example Kubel Engineer Redux or jump to the map screen and there you can see obviously your app apps' altitude all the time which is really good to know if you're trying to well pilot your rocket. However, jumping all the time to, to your rocket and the map screen is annoying so you can click on this little purple icon on the left hand side and then you can see your most important orbital readings like our perhaps is periapsis time to each of them and your orbital period you can actually improve the readout with the small arrows on the right hand side and trim your maneuver notes once you start using maneuvers but that's not now. Tip number four, not overshooting your target. You all know that you are going to your target, be that the moon or anything else, and you're time warping, but you're slightly impatient and you just accidentally time warp beyond them. It can, it can be really annoying, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. So here's a very good quick fix. There are actually two options for that. First is when you do a maneuver node and you don't want to overshoot the maneuver node, just select the orbital path after the maneuver node and then you can select on warp to maneuver node. And with that, there is an auto time warp, time warping you exactly one minute prior to the execution time of the maneuver. Now, in this example, let's just quickly do a maneuver and get another encounter with the moon. Focus view just to make it easier. And the second part click on any point on your orbit and select warp here and with that you can just sit back relax and or grab a cup of coffee whilst your auto time warp does all the work for you and you're flying towards your nice periapsis around the moon where you can stop burning your engines to get into an orbit perfect right and now on to the Next tip, the last tip, tip number five, easy attaching. Well, this is probably one tip you've already heard, but we all love the Alt key, so let's use it here again. If you're in the space plane hangar, mainly building SSTOs or space shuttles and trying to fit something into the cargo bay, it sometimes can be really finicky. So you can just press your Alt key, 
and then you can attach things to the notes so much easier. This actually works not only with cargo base, but this is where I primarily use it. But of course you can use that for any sort of attachment nodes, so all the parts will be clipped in one directly attached to the attachment note that is free. So on this note, I really hope that you took at least one or two tips from this video and then if you have some tips, type them down in the comments below. And on this note, thank you guys very much for watching and until next time, Space Sheep, signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day.